Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Last week, I showed you why I think the keyboard of a piano is the best and easiest tool to use and how to learn music on. Uh, regardless if you want to learn music or learn how to play the piano or another instrument for that matter. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. The link will be somewhere above here and in the description down below. That's actually a useful video to know the basics let's say for music. Today I'm gonna go more specifically towards the people that want to learn how to play the piano and more specifically in my opinion the foundation to build a good technique how to play the piano and a lot of people might think like you only have to press keys what technique can there be but it's actually very important that you have the correct posture to build upon and you might see some piano players that really have not the perfect posture, but they all have learned how to do it. And throughout the years, they might have developed a, a posture that works for them and still be able to comfortably play in a relaxed way on their piano. But it's very important that you learn how to keep your posture correct. And one of the things already is where do you sit in front of your keyboard? And most of the times, I would say, just take somewhere around the middle of the piano. It depends a little bit, of course. If you play the piano by yourself, and I assume you do if you're a beginner, then most of the times I would just suggest sit right in the middle, in front of your piano, in front of your keyboard. You don't really have to measure that up, but somewhere in the middle. Uh, now, later on, if you're more advanced and you want to play with more than one person, for example, one does the supporting part and one does the melody and the solo part, upper part, then one is going to be more towards the left side of the keyboard, one is going to be more towards the right side of the keyboard. Also, it depends a little bit on, if, on the piece of music that you want to play. If you play a music that is uh, the majority of the time in the lower range, then we're going to sit a little bit more towards the left side. Uh, same counts for the upper side, but in general we sit mostly in the middle. The second thing is sit up straight. So don't bend your back too much. Sit up straight so that we sit as tall as possible. And another thing that comes with that is we should relax the shoulders. And that is something that I had to work on when I was starting off playing the piano and even years down the road that I still had a hard time relaxing my shoulders whilst playing. Now, another thing that comes with that is the height of your seat. If your seat is too low, you will have to raise your hands too much which raises the chance of you having more tension in the shoulders because you automatically want to raise the shoulders because your hands need to be higher. Sitting too high isn't good either, then you're not grounded enough, plus you cannot reach your pedal that good, you don't have much control that way either. So having a good height is very important for your posture as well. Uh, future me here, I forgot to say in the video how far or how close to your keyboard you should sit. So if you hold your fingers on the keyboard, your arms should definitely not be fully straight out, that's too far, and your elbow shouldn't be behind your back either, that means you're too close to the keyboard. Basically when you hold your hands on the keyboard, your elbow should be kind of next to your body or slightly in front of it, but not too much. Now back to the rest of the video. Now if we have that okay or fixed, then we place our hands on the keyboard. Now. Some advice that I got when I started to learn how to play the piano when placing my hands. I should never rest my palms on the edge of the keys or let my palms rest on the lower part of the keyboard or the part below the keyboard. And they told me like you have to think about this being extremely hot like fire so you cannot touch it. You cannot relax just your wrist like this because you cannot play like that. Also you should have a slide curve in your fingers right like this so don't play with straight fingers like that but also not too much it's not supposed to be hooked fingers either so a slight bend in the fingers is pretty okay in my opinion so that is basically in a nutshell how we should sit when we play the piano the hardest part in that is relaxing the shoulders and the elbows so that we can move smoothly on the keyboard of our piano because if we want to go outside with our hands on the keyboards, 
our shoulders and elbows should still be relaxed. And that way it's much easier to control the notes that you play and to play smoothly and in different volumes. Because if you're sitting too tight and the shoulders are tight and everything, then you will most probably play too harsh as well. If you want to play a long time on the piano, I don't mean like half a minute or a minute, like if you want to play, let's say 10 to 15 minutes or half an hour, or if you're tense all of the time, then you will cramp up and it won't feel good. And it won't, and you won't be able to play smoothly after a while. So very important to know that guys. Now that we have built the foundation on how to play the piano, next time we're going to continue with these keyboard lessons. I hope you learned something again today guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have guitar tutorials and right now I'm starting these piano tutorials. I also have reaction videos where I react to all music kind of related stuff. And then I also have my own music videos which are more sporadically because those take a lot of time to make. So thank you so much guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Last week, I sh that you have um, to build uh, comfortable. Uh, I would suggest you want to play with more than one peep and the, and the, and the, and the so that is an that is advice that I had, and even when I was um, that I still because you cannot. It's not the, so the, so that we so that we can move sl so and and give difference. Um, and, I, and, I, and it will, and it won't be actually. So if you, so if you hold, so hold, so if then, uh, basically your elbow should be kind of nine.